Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I have a PR package from One Day Saving. Uh, I've been working with them for quite a while now and they've asked me if I wanted to show you some products and I said yay, of course, I love the products. Uh, and they have been kind enough to give me a 5% discount code. So if you want to pop along and have a look at the website, there is 5% off if you use Liz, uh, 05 off. And I'll put the details down in the comments as well. I've printed this off because I'm forever forgetting to uh, let you know that I have got this discount code. And who doesn't like a discount on money off? Yay! Okay, so let's get into this package and see what we've got. So we have a one, a two, three to have a look at oh that one feels a little bit weighty okay so yeah i've been and had a look at the website this morning and they have got free shipping on orders of 50 dollars uh, and there are some deals uh, to get free gifts if you spend over a certain amount of money so if you pop along to the website and have a look um and see what applies to your country obviously shipping may vary depending on where you live but yeah there's lots of special offers on and that five percent discount as well yay bargains okay let me grab my scissors and my tape measure and we'll get into the first one and have a look at this so thank you very much to one day saving and ermin who uh, is a lovely person that i speak to sending me this so they have been sent to me free of charge just for full disclosure okay this one doesn't want to come out what am i doing not very well you'd think after all these time opening these packets i'd be better at it wouldn't you <laughs> this one doesn't want to come out it's come a long way so it doesn't want to come out and show itself oh i know what this one is right so let's open it this way for starters <gasps> Oh, it's special drill. So we've got a pen, a boat and a wax. Your little basic toolkit, starter toolkit. Okay. Look at all those gems. That is a lot of gems for a little painting. Oh, look at the greens in there. Can you see those greens and shines? Ooh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. So let's have a look. And it's a robin, look. I just thought this was so pretty and I've not seen this picture. It's what I call a full full coverage special drill painting. So it's all special drill uh, gems and shapes and colours. But it's practically the whole picture is fully diamond painted. So they can take nearly as long as doing normal diamond painting. But um, if once you've got your coverage done, but look at it. Oh, doesn't he look cool? Don't you just want to go out and give him a little jacket and a woolly hat? He definitely looks like he's sat there shivering. Oh, but it's a gorgeous robin. That is just so pretty. And he's sat amongst the snow, look, all on the holly berries. These are all holly leaves around here. And all the holly berries with the snow on. And I just thought, oh, I love that. That's so pretty. And I love robins. We have robins in our garden. Uh, they do tend to fight a little bit sometimes if they come across one another. But they're very tame. They'll come really close up to you while you're uh, out in the garden. But uh, then we do feed all the birds in our garden quite a bit. So, yeah. So, well, let me have a look. So, round the flowers, round, sorry, the berries, flowers. It's winter. Uh, round the berries, uh, just the, like, teardrop shapes are diamond painted but the rest of it isn't and there's just little bits on the leaves uh, and the stems that aren't quite fully covered but it's practically a full drill diamond painting got 17 different gems and colors that's why our packet's so big that's why i thought oh that feels quite weighty very nice okay so let's just give it a quick measure it says 30 by 40 we're actually at 24 centimeters uh, which is about nine and a half -ish inches by, let's have a look, and we're about 34-ish centimetres, just slightly under manager, it's not quite flat, is it? Uh, about 13 and a quarter inches, so I just thought for Christmas that's going to look really pretty. That'll go in my Christmassy corner, just to make it a little bit sparkly. 
Oh, little Robin. Yeah, he definitely needs a little woolly hat and a scarf and maybe a little jacket or something. But they are built for the cold, aren't they, as well? Okay. Let's have a look at these gems. Ooh, lots of colours. Lots of sparkle. Ooh, okay. Oh, right. So, the fact that... Oh, look, they've sent me the rubbish. Thank you. I just wanted the rubbish. <laughs> Goes in my bin rather than yours. Right, so it looks as though the background, where are we, 15 says two bags, two bags of your clear crystals, which are exceptionally clear and sparkly, and then the slightly bigger crystal, which is, again, clear and sparkly. So 15 and 16 are four and five, and these are all the background. So even though they've like coloured it pink and blue and green, the whole of this background is going to be this silvery colour. Look at that. So it really is going to pop. Any colour on that robin is really just going to stand out and really sparkle. Okay, so we'll go back to the other end and then we'll have a look at the special drills. So we've just got a little bit of normal black there, your standard 310 black. We've got that gorgeous, like, limey green colour. A little bit of purple. Oh, I think that'll be... Uh, I think this is going on his tummy round here, just a little bit of shading. Okay, got a lovely gold colour and a nice ambery colour there. And, oh, look! Oh, look at those. They're, like, um, like sparklers, I think they're called, uh, or twinklers. They're, like, an AB-coated... Um, standard silver gem. Let me just put the normal ones next to it. So you can see that's your standard. So you get your lovely sparkle from your crystal. And then these, you just get that extra. It's showing really green and blue on here, but you just get that extra sparkle. Like it's an iridescent coating that they've put over those. Wow. Oh, that's going to look great. And when you put other crystals next to it, it makes the other crystals stand out a little bit more as well. They take on some of this colour. Oh, wow. Oh, this is wonderful, this one. I love this one. And the price of it is £5.84. So a good price as well for lots of special drones. So it's got a nice deep green, very pale blue, which we do tend to get a bit of blue with snow. Uh, another sort of limey green colour. And then our specials, wow. So we've got some marquees, which have got an AB and iridescent coating on. We've got some of those fire red, um, large around, uh, faceted, large around faceted gems. So yeah, they tend to be sort of quite fiery red, those, I like those. Ooh, we've got those long, thin marquees in ambery colour. So where do they go then? Number 12, let me have a look. Number 12 is like the long thing. Oh, look, they're all going round the robin here. Oh, so is robin going to be? It's going to be like orangey colours then, the robin. Oh, okay. Oh, I might have to change that. I might make him red rather than orange. I think I want my robin to be yet uh, red. Yeah, it does tend to look a bit orangey, doesn't he? Um, robins can look a bit orangey, but I want mine to be a nice bright red for Christmas. Okay, we've got a nice marquee there in like a lilac -y colour. I'm just trying to see, yeah, it has got an iridescent coating on it. We've got the owl claws, as I call them, and I think they're going to be going round the berries, are they? Unfortunately, yep, so all of the berries, the holly berries, are going to be in the orange. And then we're back on our uh, silvers there. Oh, and then the larger silver. So you've got three different sizes of silver in the background. Wow, that's really going to pop on with those lovely greens as well. I love the greens of the leaves. So where do our little sparklers go? Number six is uh, an up arrow. So that's, oh, look, the snow. The snow all on this holly is all going to be these twinklers. Oh, well, that's good then because the background's going to be completely silver. So the snow needs to really stand out as different from the background. And even the robin's going to have some of these on as well. Ooh, sparkly robin. Okay. Love that one. Great. Oh, that's a great start for this little haul. So that's canvas number one. 
lift that one. Okay, let's get these put away. Our robin. Okay, let's have a look at canvas number two. Ooh. Another special drill. I'm not quite sure what I've got this time. Hey, I can't remember what I ordered. Okay. Oh yes, I do remember. Oh yes, I do remember. So this is a little one. This is uh, quite a stiff canvas, so it may take a bit of flattening. And we've got another toolkit there. This one's not quite so bad. This one's not quite as stiff, but this one is quite uh, a rigid canvas. Okay, on special girls, I do all of my special girls. Getting ready for smashing the specials in January. It comes around quicker than you think. And look at that. Is that not just the best thing you've seen in ages? Oh, I just love it. The expression on that cow's face is just fantastic. He looks a bit cross-eyed, look. He's looking at his nose. And he's got a big smile and a great big bow. And then his little Christmas hat. And it's a white background, but what I'm thinking of doing is actually cutting this one out um, and putting it onto some foam board because I think it'll just look great as a wreath on the wall. I can even, if I use my craft knife, I can be really careful once I've got this all done and I'll get it sealed and then I'll be able to just cut out the background and cut him out. Um, yeah, if you use a craft knife, you're pretty good. I always use a glass cutting board underneath the my projects that I'm cutting out and I find that I can get through most things that way. A nice sharp fresh knife though, good sharp blade. But yeah, I just thought that was so much fun. Um, so I'm not keen on white backgrounds on special drill ones. I do like to see a bit more of a picture. But this one, I knew it was a white background, but I knew that I will be cutting this one out. I may even put it on a card, but I think it will look better actually. Yeah, as a wreath just hanging on the wall as is um so just cut out and put onto mount board so we've got 13 different gems on this one oh, I just love it i just think it's absolutely brilliant i mean if you're not brilliant at cutting you can just leave it as it is or you don't have to have the stars hanging from the bottom if you don't want to but, uh, i just think it's really sweet let me just see if i can get this crease a little bit flattened that's in the middle once he goes in my folder with all my uh, special drill canvases, he'll get a little bit more flattened there. Or I may have to iron him just to get the creases out before I do him. But that's fine. I mean, they've come a long way. Uh, and they don't have to be creased to go into the banks, which is fine. It soon comes out. But yeah, look at that little smiley face. Don't you just think he's absolutely gorgeous? Like, whoa, it's Christmas. He's just come up to this, hasn't he? And he's just thought it's maybe one of those things, you know, that you see at the seaside. <laughs> and you stick your head through and have your face photographed it. It just looks like he's doing that, doesn't he? Pulling a face because he stuck his head through one of them. <laughs> Sorry, silly move. Okay. So let's have a look at these gems. Right. So we have three here so we, oh look lovely sparkly silver again and we've got some white just standard white and they've got your iridescent aurora borealis ab coating on them and a gorgeous cherry red gem there so, yeah 13 colors is quite a lot for this little chap because it's not a very big picture um, oh i didn't measure him and uh, it doesn't look as though it's got 13 colors does it but yay Okay, ooh, ooh, this thing is looking very pretty. Right, so we've also got a little bit of deeper red. You're a standard 310 black. A very pale pink. And a blue there, nice school blue. All kids are back at school now. And a nice gold colour there. And a grassy green. And a very pale green. Ooh, that's nice. And look at those. Wow, teardrops uh, with an iridescent coating on, like a pinky reddy colour. But real fire those. I think they're all going to be like the little like berries or flowers going around the wreath. That's pretty. Oh, and then we've got lots of stars, like the little gold stars. So 
Where do the stars go then? Where have we got stars? Let me have a look. Number 12. Oh no. <laughs> I'm looking for the stars and thinking, well, I can't see any stars. The stars are in the middle of the stars. <laughs> Put your glasses on, Liz. Get your magnifying glass out. And then we've got these little, like, cabochons, tiny cabochons, um, little half spheres. There's no facets on them. And I can see that they all go in the middle of the flowers and then the middle of the bow there. But there's a lot of those to go in the middles of those. So I've got a lot of spare in this one as well. And I don't like my spares. I must get some projects done with them. I've got all sorts lined up to do with them and I must get them done. Okay, so that's number two. We've got a little moo cow. Gorgeous. That is just so cute. That's just going to make me laugh every time I walk past it. <laughs> it's lovely. So, a final one. I don't think this one's Christmas. I think uh, we've moved away from Christmas with this one, if I remember rightly. Uh, oh, and the moo cow was £3.94, so just under £4. In. Oh, it's just smiling at me out the corner of my eye. Okay, and then finally, let's just pop him over there. Oh, we didn't measure him, did we? Let's give him a quick measure before we look at the next one. Keep you waiting. <laughs> So the actual sort of square canvas is 25 that way, which is nine and three quarters by, yeah, 25 that way. But if you wanted to just cut out the wreath, I'll go from widest point to widest point. It's about nine inches, which is about 23 centimetres. So it's just a nice little size just to pop in somewhere that you've just got a little bit of a gap. Um, if you're putting up your Christmas decorations. So, yeah, but I will be cutting that one out. I want to, do, uh, want to do a bit more with that one. Okay, so let's just get the tool cut out of this one. Oops, just got a bit of extra material there. Oh, this is another small one, 30 by 30. Basic tool kit again, just to get us started. Oh, look at the, oh, look at those. Pink roses with an iridescent coating on. Oh, oh look at the colours in this. Wow. Oh, let's see what it is. <laughs> look, how pretty is she? It's a little geisha. Oh, she is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not really um, somebody that buys sort of figures um, and has pictures of figures and uh, things. It's not really my thing, as it were. But this just absolutely spoke to me when I saw it. And I just thought the colours were gorgeous. I love the colour palette, the blues with the purple and the green. And I just thought she was so pretty. I would love to one day go to Japan and get dressed up um as a geisha gal and a proper kimono and everything and have them all fitted and just look so elegant and so polished because I mainly do look like I think I can edge backwards most days. <laughs> oh dear. The joys of being a carer and having a dog, it's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just to look so refined and so serene. Although I'm not sure I could walk in the shoes but uh, that's a whole other story. I can't even walk in the shoes I've got. <laughs> I tend to fall over. Anyway, we have 10 different gems and colours and they all look very, very special. Wow, she is absolutely so pretty. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. So let's have a look at these gems. I will give her a quick measure before I forget. Hang on. So, she is at a, ooh, just slightly under 24 centimetres, so just under nine and a half inches, and I think we'll be about the same this way, 24, nine and a half inches, yes, yeah. so she's a nice little square, nice little colourful painting, but isn't that gorgeous with her fan and everything, and the way they hold the hands, and they're just so feminine, and oh, I just love it, absolutely love it. And they always have beautiful, shiny, gorgeous hair as well. OK, 
Okay, so let's have a look at these gems. Oh, look at those flowers. Stacked at this end. So, oh, look. So, very special. Wow. Okay, so the price of this one was only £3.86. And the gems in this are just stunning. So we've got your twinklers there, which is your AB coated silver, as we got in the robin. Very pretty. We've got an Aurora Borealis, an AB coated green there, standard green gem. Wow. I mean, that is very, very pretty. And then a very pale pink and a bluey lilac colour. And then a nice little purple there. And then we have an AB silver coated marquee. We've got a, an AB coated, like, it's a faceted purple gem, but it's got that coating on it just to give it that extra sparkle. And then we've got a blue one that's got the coating on. So they're actually more or less the same, but they're two slightly different colours. So you're just going to get that different contrast on them. And then look at those. I've never seen those before. That's like a black with um, an AB coating. So it's come out like purpley, bluey colours. Oh, wow. And then all these little roses. So where does number 10 go? It's the purple. So all of these purple dots on the flowers are actually flowers. Wow. Oh, that is stunning. So it's got proper blossom trees at the other side. Oh, I just love this. It is so pretty. I think the big eyes always just make it pop that a little bit more as well. But yeah. Oh, so what colour have we got on the fan? So, oh, her fan is this colour then. So all her fan there is that colour. So I've got any more number nines. Oh yes, in a hair. I was going to say, don't tell me that they've given us all of those, just for those few, but no. She's got some in her little hair um, band there as well. <gasps> wow. Oh, is that not stunning? Oh, I've just spotted a little bird. There's a little teeny tiny bird in the bushes down here. Oh, that's really sweet. Oh, that is absolutely, I can't wait to do that one now. But I'm going to have to wait. <laughs> oh, you like that when you opened up your new diamond painting? You just want to start them all now. <laughs> okay, so huge thank you to One Day Saving for sending me these canvases to have a look at. Absolutely stunning. We've got our gorgeous geisha, our very sad looking robin, and our little cow just popping through the wreath there just saying hello pulling a funny face he's obviously thinks he's definitely up with the seaside with that thing. <laughs> okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me if you have as always a thumbs up is much appreciated don't forget to check out one day savings um website for all those special offers and the liz 05 off uh, to get yourself 5% discount as well on top of those special offers, which is excellent. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, if you press the subscribe button, hit the all notifications bell, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.